I was driving on Highway 52 out to Chatfield, and then suddenly, <laughs> suddenly, I noticed this white thing in the middle of the road, and it was a, like a white blob, and I got closer to the white blob, and it was just going really slow, and it had solar panels on the top of it, and it had <laughs> at least three wheels underneath of it, and I got closer, and I'm tailgating this thing, and we're getting so slow, and traffic is starting to back up behind me, and I get up sort of next to it, and I notice there's this little old lady sitting inside of it, and she's pedaling her heart out. And she's not just any little old lady. She's actually Hana, and Hana's in her elf. And Hana's decided that she's on her second journey across the country, and she's decided to take off from good old her hometown Chatfield and make a break for it. I think she's headed for Harmony or something like that, but she's definitely gonna have a good hill to guide her along as she goes farther south on 52. And good luck when you get to the next hill where you actually have to pedal straight back up but something like that. But Hannah, you're blocking traffic and the little elf is going as fast as it can. And my goodness gracious, I don't know how long it's gonna take you to get to the south or wherever the heck you're going, but you're not getting a very good start this morning, Hannah. I gotta tell you that much, switch. <laughs> 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 and and Hannah, uh, she's driving really slow. She's on 52. She's just crawling through Iowa. I mean, she's crawling and she's lucky she's in Iowa because they'll accept you driving slow in Iowa. <laughs> um, and she's listening to music. And it's strange because we never would have thought that Hannah was into to, to, to rap music. <laughs> but she's listening to Snoop Dogg and it's amazing. And she's... Uh, she may or may not be smoking some kind of a, some kind of a, you know, a, a big cigarette that's very thick. There's a lot of smoke coming out of the out of the, the dashboard or the, 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 the yeah. and uh, and then she just she does something that is very surprising and that few would be able to see uh, coming, and that's she switched a gear in her vehicle that made it so she didn't know she no longer had to pedal. So all of a sudden it became a turbo vehicle. <laughs> and she thought I'm going to, she, she put her foot on the gas and she was going 120 miles an hour down the, down the freeway. Ooh. And, uh, she was enjoying her music. She was bobbing her head back and forth. And, uh, uh then she drove up and, and there was a police officer that was on the side of the road and he had a, he had a little device and it looked like he was pointing it at different cars and he was pointing it and he pointed it at, at Hannah's car. And, then he wanted, he, he turned his, uh, he turned his uh, lights on. He sound, seemed like he wanted to, to talk to, to Hannah. And so he, uh, he pulled out from, from his spot and he started chasing Hannah and they were both going about 130 miles an hour uh, <laughs> down the Iowa uh, freeway and switch. <laughs> and as Hannah, as I call her, and the policemen were going 120 miles down the road in this vehicle that she no longer had to pedal, this elf-like machine, she thought, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. This is time to write a second book. In fact, I will pull out my laptop or my pen and my paper right now. And as I'm cruising 120 miles down the road, I'm going to start writing. I don't care about traffic. That's not my problem. I'm <laughs> Hannah. After all, I can live through anything. I think the first thing I'll do is interview the policeman and say, so how's your day going? <laughs> How often does this happen to you that you get to meet a woman like me? Would you like to be in my book? The police officer says, what the heck? I'm probably going to lose my life anyways. At least someone can record my last final moments. Hannah says, so tell me your life story. The policeman says, gosh, Hannah, you're the first person that's ever asked me how I felt about anything. He then starts to cry. <laughs> Hannah says, calm down, calm down. And as she's there whipping around, practically killing all of Iowa, she says, let me find you a tissue because I use those a lot myself. 
she grabs <laughs> does anybody believe any of this stuff yeah <laughs> you know this is a story that pulls at the at jerks at the whatever the strings of your heart yeah whatever whatever you know first of all we got hannah who's much too old to be driving around on a three-wheel vehicle going too slow which everybody understands heading into iowa which is an accepted form of behavior and suddenly morphs into this machine that goes somewhat over the speed limit and then is engaged by an officer of the law who Turns out he has psychological issues and <laughs> hesitates to test Hannah for illegal substance. Now, this is material for TV. It doesn't get any stranger than that. And this will be in the latest version of stories that are stranger than fiction. So, yes, yes, this is the time that Hannah. The police officer, illegal substances, and excessive speed, and a gentleman who is on the edge of psychological despair that will be presented to the American public during prime time. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> Dustmaster.